you got it, right? Um, so let me show you some examples. So this is work done by high school students. All right, all right. of course I got some um, good examples, right? I want to inspire you guys. So uh, we require at least three examples of drawings um, of observation, observational drawings. Basically you need to draw something that is in front of you. Um, I always tell students, you know, we are looking for potential. Um, so avoid, you know, like copying other artists, copying photographs, you know, we want to see our voice as an artist. We want to see like uh, your creativity, uh, your personality, you know, that's what art schools are looking for. Um, so here are a few examples, you know, maybe you have a sketchbook, you can also include some pages of it. Uh, it doesn't need to be the final piece, it, it can be the process as well. So here are a few examples. And then talking about personal work, I think that this is what really gives people a scholarship, okay? So the thing that makes you away like uh, awake at 2 a.m you know doing like making like something I don't know if it's painting or digital I don't know but this is what I think will make her portfolio unique is the thing that you love and I always tell students you know you should have fun with your portfolio you should reflect who you are as an artist and can be digital as well maybe you know animation I don't know we have students doing that uh, sculpture as well you can also include that uh, in your portfolio if you want. And then photography, same concept, you know, mm, concept. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, same idea. Okay, so uh, avoid the cliches. So the rock star, the homelands, the reflection of the, the building in a photo, you know, like this kind of things. Um, Again, think the story you're trying to tell through your images, the lighting, you know, maybe you can use some Photoshop as well. Um, and I think that what, re what I really like to see when I'm reviewing a portfolio is um, a cohesive body of work. So sometimes, you know, you can create series, maybe three photographs that, you know, they, they are related one to the other. Film, what, so it's really vast what you can do. Uh, but mo nowadays, most students, what they are doing is that they are uh, submitting montages. So they worked on different movies along their high school. They combined that, they added, you know, the best parts, they combine them, they put a nice music and they submit that. But I also have students submitting like horror movies done with their iPhones. So again, Honestly, when you build our portfolio, you have to think how you can re impact the reviewer, you know, how you can be different. That's the main thing here. I have a lot of questions about portfolios. Can okay. I ask? Yes. All right. So I've heard uh, that you have to submit a portfolio with different mm -hmm. skills. So it depends. So there it is, because I have some students here who work with graphic design, for example. They do a lot of graphic drawings, right? It's not actually digital, yes, digital drawings. So for that person, for example, is it nice to also have other skills involved? So for example, for all the fine arts-based um, portfolios, um, they have to submit three drawings of observation. So they, they have to know, they need to know how to draw. Uh, or at least show uh, you know um, some pieces of it, but you know, and then we go to the part that I talked about um, personal work. So if that student already has, because it's not that everybody that has already a voice that has already you know a technique that they like to work, but for example, if you want to submit like ten paintings, that's fine. If you know, it's okay. Um, but then you have to include as well the three drawings of observation, you know? But if that student has already great digital work and he only wants to submit that, that's fine. You know, if he's already, if he's already- Complex work, yeah, 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 developed. Yeah, yeah. I see. And for film, for example, uh, there are some students who don't have still, you know, all of the skills for filming. Is this more of a, are you analyzing skills 
or are you analyzing stories and you know the difference so when we talk about film uh we have to think that is a very collaborative area so you there you cannot make a movie by your own so sometimes what students what they, they do is that they they have a team of students they create that together and then all of them apply to SBA, that's fine. And they submit that movie that they created together, but then they have to um, they have to explain their role in that movie, you know? So sometimes, you know, so sometimes they can, you can make like a, um, a team here and they can, you know, create a movie or, uh, I mean, we are looking for potential. We don't expect them to, you know, it's, I see. it's difficult. It's to, difficult. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. And I have one more question and I'm moving to Bob. Um, actually, two questions. But one of them is, um, what would you say, where is the best place to keep their work while they're still in 10th grade? So I, each university uses different portals for the portfolio. Sometimes yeah, it's not the same. Uh, do you have a recommendation where they should keep their stuff already? or use the web, the website of the university that they want the most or use something else? I think it depends. Uh, ah, I see what you mean. Like if yeah. they want to apply. Uh, yeah, they have the portfolio, but they don't know where to put it. Like they have to organize themselves already. So yeah, where is the I best think place? Yeah, I think they're too young, you know, to start like putting that in a web page, for example. I would personally keep them at home or take for example, if he's sculpture, you know, maybe, you know, he can uh, take nice pictures, you know, and save that, you know, we don't need like the final piece. He, the person can, you know, take great pictures and save that. And that I don't know. <laughs> it's a great question. It, yeah. And one more question, description. How would they describe their work? Are they describing the technical side of it? Yes. Or are they describing the meaning, the narrative? Both things. Both things, yeah. Okay, I have two questions. Okay. One still about the portfolio. So it's very common for students to who are submitting a portfolio to think only about drawing uh, and the film, but uh, if one of our learners already works with sculpture, as you said, or performance, how would he or she uh, present this kind of work through photography. photography or a short, a short yeah, film exactly. filming this? Uh -huh. And this is all uh, welcome to yes. show away and present. Their yeah, I always tell students to think how they will present their portfolio, right? How they they will present their work. So take good pictures, you know, like don't take like pictures anywhere, you know, think about the, the scenario, I would say. Uh, and that's huh. And once in SVA, what are the possibilities of exploring different media, different, uh, like a, we were talking about yeah. just now about animation, film production, games 3d yeah that's the cool thing about because... being a visual arts school you know that's why i have students that only want to apply to sba or to an art school because we have so many majors in the visual arts uh, so that you can take a few classes here a few classes there and you know i and i will get into the majors and i will explain why it's so different from what we have here in brazil uh, and you see that even like for in the design major, you have 100 courses to choose from in your major. So you can really focus in the area you want in design. So that, that I think is already explains everything. Okay, we have a question. No. Yes. We have a question here from- And then we will move to- I know, I noticed, now it is. Uh, we have a question from Naiji. Uh, so- Hi, uh, I'm an artist, and my question awesome. is my, my question is like you said that you you guys are evaluating techniques and meaning like from your work. I wanted to know if 
like there is one of these two that you like yes you like take more serious i don't know how to say that but sometimes you have a great concept right you have a, re a great meaning behind uh, that piece but the technique is not a great that's okay that's you are okay. learning you know you are showing that you already have a potential and that's what we want to see we want to see potential mm -hmm. uh, but then sometimes you have great skills drawing skills for example but you know you are drawing a bowl of fruit and that's fine you know mm -hmm. so it's it... so uh, yeah it's a combination yes. of both you know when you are that's why you know I, of course i i showed great examples and i have a whole presentation only about portfolios that i can share another day with you guys uh but again keep the world the word potential that's the thing you know it's a combination of both uh thank you and i have another question that is uh, <clears throat> like young artists on um, like all of these areas that doesn't have like uh, a personal style of art, you know, like you, artists. You find that you 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 find out that during school probably. Yeah, but I I wanted to know that like if I don't have I still didn't disinvolve my personal style. Yeah. How the college will have some that's program or call. something to that's an help? amazing question. That's a great question. So that's, I think that uh, it's a great way for you to choose the university, you know why? So when you look our, uh, not, not only our, but all the alumni lists, you know, of the schools. So sometimes we can recognize where that artist is from, you know, which, is, uh, which school he attended, you know, because some schools uh, put you in a box, and everybody who graduated from that school look like their work looks the same, okay? So take a look in our alumni list, mm -hmm. see what they are doing, see how different they are. So that's like, that's something that I love about SDA is that we will, I think we will make you be the best version of you, you know? And I think, you know, I think you will find out who you are during college. That's, that's something about SDA, you know, is that, uh, uh, it's a great it, it popped out of my head another question <laughs> that it is uh, like if many artists have different styles and ways to paint and draw, mm -hmm. how do you guys evaluate technique when someone is applying to your college? Because like I can use uh, like can use completely different, different technique yes, you can use, that, you can do that no one ever seen and how do you guys evaluate that? Like that's amazing if you are doing something new that's what we want to see you know but like how can i evaluate that uh, a technique is good or just not good like i mean we have been doing that for quite a while you know so i think we know how to yeah no i uh, want to know how do you guys do that you know how do you want to know your secrets <laughs> how do you guys evaluate a night honestly when we evaluate a portfolio we see like all the all the work you know, we evaluate not only one piece, but all the pieces and how they um, relate one, one to the other or not. And yeah. that's completely fine. So one portfolio can be, um, about, so, okay, we have, I will give you some examples. So what makes a great portfolio? We are talking too much about portfolios and I'm not going to the, the majors, okay? Just so, because I have 11 majors to talk about it. Uh, anyway, so, all right, portfolio. For example, when I am reviewing a portfolio, what I, I like to see the most is um, creativity, of course. But for example, I had one student, um, she created 15 drawings of her friends vomiting something. All right, yeah, that's what I like to, completely silence, right? Why, why I like, why I like that portfolio? First of all, really yeah, it's different. So she had the balls to draw you know, yeah. 15 of her friends vomiting something. Each piece was completely different from, you know, the <laughs> other. Uh, she, each um, uh, piece had her own uh, color palette. And, you know, she had a friend vomiting flowers. The other one was hands and, the, you know, and the other one were birds. So 
what that portfolio showed me, showed me that she's creative, she has technique because she knows how to draw, was not, you know, amazing, but it was really great drawings. And, you know, she, she's like, she has personality, you know? So that's, I think, what makes a great portfolio. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go. Yes. Most important deadline for you guys is February 1st. This is the most important deadline for you to uh, still compete for a scholarship. Okay, we give a lot of um, scholarships for international students. Uh, so if you want to receive a good scholarship at SEDA, you have to have good grades and a good portfolio. And we can talk more about portfolios later, no problem. Uh, so let's talk about the programs. I have all these programs to talk about. I will, we have until five. So I have 15 minutes, all right? So maybe one minute per, a little bit more than one minute per uh, program. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk about design. I love this program. Um, we have more than a hundred courses to choose from in four years. So what that means is that you can um, focus in graphic design. So you do like packagings and logos and posters, typography, this kind of things. You can also uh, specialize in um, three-dimensional design. You can also specialize in motion graphics. So motion graphics is like animation done by designers. It's a very lucrative area in the US because most of the TV commercials have some kind of motion. Uh, so this is ah. And then you can also specialize in interactive design. You guys are the future of this area, right? So you can... Uh, Okay. Hello. Okay. So you can uh, build um, websites and apps. One of our professors, uh, his name is G. Lee. He's the creative director of Facebook. He also consults at Google. If you choose his class in your fourth year, you won't have class at SCBA. You meet at the Facebook office in New York City to have classes. And again, this is true for all the other classes, you know, because our professors, they are the industry in New York City. You know, for example, I developed a whole project for MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, you know, when I was a student. One of my professors, his name is Dan, is Dan Formosa. Uh, he's, uh, he owns one, uh, Smart Design, which is a great design agency in New York. We had many classes there. One of my professors invited me to help her in a Philips uh, project uh, to, um, at Philips. You know, so because the professors, you know, they are the industry in New York City, you get the chance to, um, you know, working real projects. Um, so advertising, I'm sure you guys are familiar with what advertising is, right? So the cool thing about SVA is that, I think I skipped that. Uh, I think the cool thing about SVA is that you will be trained to deliver a 360 campaign to our clients. So um, when you, for example, when you, are, when you are hired to work for a client, they expect you to deliver not only print materials, but also digital work. And at SBA, you'll be trained to deliver these full campaigns uh, to your clients. We have a class called Ex um, Advertising for Social Change. So basically, students are using like advertising as a tool to make a positive impact for their clients. I will skip uh, the... Um, anyone interested in advertising, guys? Can I skip that? <laughs> I think as a have, discipline, is the hardest thing to truly understand or learn. It's based on thinking first, form second. You really have to come up with original ideas. Historically, the students would do lots of ad campaigns, but now doing 360 advertising, now introducing motion graphics, now introducing interactive has expanded it. There's an advertising a foundation here. We have a class called Visual Language, which focuses on shape, color, and composition. One of the things that we teach is the art of question. Find that when you stay in question, ideas simply emerge. So first week I was doing 
as for like Oreos, Volkswagen. They just want something original and you just have to keep digging. All the faculty are working profession. So we offer a BFA in illustration. Um, so actually SCBA was founded in 1947 as the, uh, as you know, our founding programs was cartooning and illustration. Um, so the cool thing about this program is that you have specific classes in the area you want to specialize in illustration. So for example, we have some students focusing food, for example, or uh, I don't know, tattoo, if you want to become a tattoo artist, you know, we have classes for that. Um, costume design, um, you will receive your own little space to, you know, for you to create your work during the four years. What else? Uh, so I always tell students that illustration is like a freelance career. So you don't work like for one client. So you build your portfolio of clients, you know, during your life and you work with them along, you know, the, your journey as an illustrator. And so the main difference I would say between comics uh, and illustration is that comics is more about character development, storytelling, of course, it's about, you know, uh, illustration as well, you know, but there are, so you can specialize in manga and comics. Um, and I forgot to say that I have a student from Rio de Janeiro, actually, she graduated last year and she's amazing. She studied illustration and her focus is ch uh, children's book. And it's beautiful, I love her work. Uh, so you can do that as well. So this guy here, he has a great story. So he studied SBA and now he teaches at SBA. He's the guy who does Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, you know, all this great. So she, he I was he one was, of those kids that drew all the time. It seems to me that if you want to be an artist, if you want something so desperately and so passionately, you'll find a way to do it. But know that if it's something you need to do in, in your heart, if that's what you are as a human being, then it's something that you have to do. Friends of mine introduced me to comic books in high school. I fell in love with them instantly. And by the time I was out of high school, I think I had 50 comic books, which were essentially cheap copies of the X-Men. I had turned my friends into characters and told stories about them. I actually used those 50 comic books and the, the who's who compendium and uh, the posters that I drew of all my friends as my portfolio to get into SVA. I was hired by DC Comics the summer after my sophomore year ended and I've been working on comics ever since. So we have two animation programs. I don't know what's happening, but animation is like really popular now. Like everybody wants to be an animator. So we have two animation programs. The first one I will show you is traditional animation. The last one is computer animation. So this is the program. Uh, I forgot to mention that everything that I'm showing you now uh, is work done by our students during college, okay? So traditional animation. All right. Uh, I always tell students, if you love to draw, if you love to tell stories and want to tell them over uh, motion and the dialogue, the music, traditional animation may be a good thing for you. Uh, you can choose to stop motion in your fourth year as your specialization. And there are good important facts that there are more hand-draw animation students in your city than in LA. Um, yes. Uh, so we also offer film. Uh, so it's four years of just film. In your first year, you have a foundation in film, including acting classes. After second year, you pick the, your specialization. So if you want to become a director, you choose in your second year, editor, sound, you know, there are a few areas that you can specialize. Uh, we are partners with uh, actors agency, so you can use like real actors in our productions. We receive a lot of, you know, famous people to speak with you. Um, James Franco came like six times. So I just like to show this slide because again, just prove how connected we are with the industry. So if the chair of the film department can call up Oliver Stone and say, hey man, when you're in New York, can you come speak to my students? And he goes, you know, you know, for free. 
you know, I don't think we could pay them enough, but you know, they come. Um, we also have a festival office and this is for animation and film students. So we will put your productions in the best festivals around there. Um, we had, I had one student, he participated in 21 festivals. He won 19 out of 21, including the Sundance Festival. Uh, so in the film department, you can go more into like independent movies if you like, but also we have, you know, students working Hollywood movies as well. Um, so this is a sample. So photography, we have one building entirely dedicated for photography. I visited this apartment two weeks ago and I was like, wow, it's incredible. Um, so think that, oh, I have a great, is there anyone interested in photography? Yes. So after, you know, when I finish here, I want to show you another video because it's not in this presentation uh, that, you know, they just share with me. Um, so think that, I, 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 when I was there last week, like two weeks ago, I was like, wow, I, there are so many um, fields like within photography that you can like specialize, that you can become like, it's, it's incredible. It's really, really nice. And I think this video that they did illustrate that very well. Um, so anyways, here um, you can uh, specialize in the area you want within photography again so we have students like going into like a fashion perspective mm -hmm. set design perspective fine arts documentary landscaping you know um uh, anyway it's think that every like paper all magazines like journals everything needs good photography we need good photographers okay uh so we have like the the um, dark rooms and the digital rooms. So it's, it's incredible, really, the, the space over there. Uh, all of our professors, they are working in the industry. So that's, that's really nice. We have the mentors program. Uh, so we you will be paired with one of these like companies uh, and we will develop a whole exhibition with them. Again, SBA being the bridge, you know, between you and the industry. And I have to show that I'm not a photographer. I don't intend to be, but I love this guy's work and I have to show with you. I'm sorry. There's nothing more satisfying than walking into an empty sound stage and striking the first light and not knowing what's going to happen out of that stripe of light. You think you know, but you don't know. And I was visiting my dad in New York and a friend of his said, you want to go to a school for art, you go to SVA. When you go to SVA, he goes, you will probably sit next to the person who will give you your first job. So, cut to, <laughs> my first job did come from the person who sat next to me in class. My mother looked at me, she goes, campus? It's like, New York City is the campus. It's like, it's the best campus. Every concert comes there, every, every art show comes there, everything comes to SVA. <laughs> People who look at light and who appreciate the use of light in an image, that is to me is what photography is. Everything else just is just image capture. It's the subtlety to it, it's the beauty to it. It's it's being able to paint with it and move with it and kind of feel it. When I love his definition of photography. Uh, and we of course have fine arts. Uh, Daniela from, that's exactly what we were saying. Uh, 
we of course we have like the traditional um, fine arts mm -hmm. uh, department. Uh, you can focus in paintings and drawings and installations if you want, but we also have the biology lab that I was mentioning that I mentioned in the beginning. So that's maybe your chance to create something completely crazy. I was like, whoa, I, can't, I could not believe this was inside an art school. Uh, Suzanne Anker, she's the chair of the fine arts department and she's like super famous um, in this field of uh, bio art. Um, so again, you don't need to do that, okay? You don't need to do that. But again, I just, li I, I just like you to think um, that it's nice for you to be in a school that gives you different tools. Guys, we're here, you know, look to look at the school, you know, so that's what we are talking about, you know, a school that gives you different tools to create stuff that you could even imagine. That's what all those labs are about, right? So that's why I, I was there and she was showing me, this is my first time here and I was, whoa, that's cool, whoa, that's cool, whoa, that's cool, because I think that's that's what yeah, yeah, that's what we are talking here. So I think that it's a good relationship. Uh, we also offer a BFA interior design. The name of this program should be interior architecture, in my opinion. Okay. So here, uh, the classroom was designed as an office. So you have, you know, the feeling that you are going to work and not to class. Um, what else? So we have virtual reality, you can walk our clients through our projects. So when we talk about intro design, most people think that we are talking about decoration. Okay, so changing the color of your wall or your sofa, but it's really designing spaces from the inside out. Um, I will skip There is that. no such thing as a... Okay, uh, two more to show. Um, and then who has more questions, we can say. Uh, so we have... a. Uh, very different major called Vision Critical Studies. Most schools in the US offer this major uh, in a master level, a graduate level. SVA offers um, as an undergraduate level. Um, so this program is very, very different from all the other majors I showed you because you know all the other majors has a very specific industry. So animation design, um, interior design photography, advertising, all of them has a very specific industry, not so much for visual and critical studies, right? So if you want, I tell students that, you know, if you want to become like a curator, work in a museum, or be an artist, able to work with very different techniques, uh, with more theory involved, this may be a good fit for you. And then the last one I will show you is computer animation, okay? This is so popular nowadays. So, um, Pretty much, um, I think all the movies that you have seen during our lifetime has employed at least one of our alumni. Okay, since the beginning with Toy Story until the newest ones with Ferdinando and all that, uh, all the movies that you have seen that has any kind of visual effect has at least one SCV alumni, I think, working on it. Uh, the movie 300 was entirely done by SCV alumni, all Harry Potters, Narnia's, all of them. So. This program, um, I love this program, honestly. Anyway, so here you can become a generalist or a specialist, okay? So for example, ah, you wanna become like, you want to specialize in fire and water visual effects, you can do that. Or uh, you wanna be in the creative side of gaming design. That's also the program for you. So uh, in your fourth year, you develop a whole animation Okay, um, what else can I tell you? What I'm, we have a blue screen, green screen, all like crazy labs as well. Uh, I will show you, so, and this is nice to see and understand the field because this is work done by uh, our students during college. And you already can see the quality of their work. Look at that. This is like college students. Just for two minutes, I think I'm good. So this is work work done by uh, college students, and these are the exact scenes that our students, like our alumni, worked on. I think we recognize them. <laughs>
I don't want to keep you long than you know you can. Anyway, the last advice is uh, we offer pre-college programs. So if you don't do it at CVA, go somewhere else, but do it. You guys are young. You still have time. And I think this is the best investment that you can make during our high school. Okay? So it's for, for us, in our case, it's three weeks in July. You come to SVA. You choose one of the majors that I just described, and you can see if you like that. If you want to become a director, if you want to move to New York, if you like a CBA or not, you know? And most schools, they offer that in some capacity. And, and it's so fun. It's summer in New York City, it's just, you know, in the side, you know, it's very good for you guys. You can create your portfolio. I like, can help you with your portfolio, but you have a blast. Uh, it's New York City summer 400 students from all over the planet uh you have brother shows museums and it's thank you so much i spoke really fast uh if you guys have any questions there's there's also a piece of paper from uh, yes thank you sva that you can write your name if you're interested so they can send you emails uh about the school the the pre-college programs the same that we call summer program right so it's yeah summer camp summer to, yeah. to talk about so we have some questions here sure yeah so this paper here that is in your desk uh if you want like to be in touch with me in november we will receive like the designer we will have a director we will host an event at hyatt in november so if you are in touch with me um you know you can come show up uh show your work if you want we can talk it's and honestly a piece of advice those representatives that comes um here like that they come here to visit you like don't um waste those moments with these people because they can help you a lot during like you look at Yes, I do uh, portfolio reviews. Uh, and that's why I tell students, you know, be in touch with me. I help my students. I want to bring Brazilians. Uh, and I will be with you the whole during your whole process. I will receive you in New York City in August. So anyways. Daniela, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> thank you. It was our pleasure to receive you. And guys, I know that some people have some questions. Right, I see Jushini's hand went up. Joe, I saw your hand went up. Isa, your hand went up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna officially close. We see all the, the hands going up. Um, we're gonna officially close so that we can allow other people to leave who need to leave. And I know that some of us have parent meetings as well. But for those of you who want to continue the conversation yeah, with here. Daniela, she's here. So you can join her up here. And Daniela, thank you. You're oh. gonna be hearing from us because we have some amazing talents in the school and That's we definitely amazing. wanna send them. Yes. Thank you so much for the inspirational presentation. Oh. I wanna go to SBA. <laughs> I wanna go to all these schools that you guys are seeing. Like every yeah. single school has a different inspiration. Yeah. And I think that even guys, if you're not interested in applying to the school, cause you're not really sure if that's the school that you wanna go to, the summer program is an excellent way to find, find out, out if this is your home or if exactly. this will be your home. And that's why I tell students, we are very comfortable with what we offer. So do your research. Absolutely. There are great universities over there and out there. And you know, you have to see where you fit. That's... And we have a gift for you before you oh, leave. Oh, yes. Thank you. So, so this... it was good enough? It was, uh, <laughs> it was amazing. No, because I did, no, I did. A... I got the present before and I was like, I have a, pre a present for you, but I'll only give it to you by the end of the presentation. <laughs> So this is actually a recycled bag nice. um, and it's written by our students. Uh -huh. So they wrote letters to their heroes and we printed. Uh -huh. And inside here we have a book with our projects. Remember how I told uh -huh. you how we yeah. have global goal uh, yeah. based projects. 
So our book here is has all of the projects nice. connected to the Thank UN so Global much. Goals. Thank you so Thank much for you. coming. Thank you all and for coming as well. This is the beginning of a portfolio. Yes. Right? This is grade two students yes. who designed this beautiful So map. you know what? I, I, am, <laughs> I am the head of Latin America and the Caribbean, so I travel a lot, but my home is Sao Paulo. So it's easier for me like to come here. So it's difficult for me to, to go to Mexico or British Virgin Islands, you know, or like this Ecuador, these places. But here it's easy, it's easy for me to come. So anytime you need, I can come here to speak with one student, with one family. It's it's easy, we, you honestly. Have, you should set up your office here. <laughs> I can do that. That's fantastic. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's